Big changes could be on the way for thousands of students. The school district could possibly close up to seven schools as it looks at making school boundary changes. Now, if this plan is approved, the school closures or repurposing of the schools would impact up to 24,000 students. And on your side, Xavier Harris joins us now live with this story. Good morning, Xavier. Hey, good morning to the both of you. So when you say repurposing the schools, what exactly does that mean? So according to the district, some of those schools, they will be used for preschools, adult education centers, and even portions of um, the home district offices. Now, the boundary analysis is conducted by a consultant team led by WXY Studio. The process started in the spring of 2022, and it will end by winter of 2023. The scenario goals are split up into three parts. Assignment stability, facility optimization, and maximal repurposing. Now, according to the district superintendent, Addison Davis, right now, 24% of the schools in the district are overcrowded and about 44% are under-enrolled. So what does this mean for your child? Some of them would leave overpopulated schools and others would leave schools struggling with low enrollment and failing grades. Now, the district has placed a complete PowerPoint where they want to hear back from the public. And we've placed that on our WFLA website. And just to give you a heads up, comments from the public, they'll be cut off on January 13th. So you have some time to take a look at it and give your opinion and uh, let the district know how you feel. This morning, we're live in Tampa. I'm Xavier Harris, 8 on your side.